Nice warm little uh, welcome for A.B. De Villiers here at the Green Park in uh, Kanpur. Strike rate 99, average 53. This is very special. Thousand runs. One of the modern day greats. Tremendous welcome for him here in uh, Kanpur. That's oh, a good first ball. I think they're happy to see him. I'm not sure they'd be too happy if you scored a match winning 100. Yes, they've heard so much about him. Uh, they haven't had the opportunity to see him here in Kanpur. Uh, that's the reason why he's got such a tremendous reception. And I think it's all about a balancing act for India too, because Ashwin's got to come in and it's, 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 be, it's almost like Dhoni's going to be pushed over the edge here because of the success Ashwin's had so far on this tour. Like, he's not trying to do too much. There it is again, wicket to wicket. He's not a big turner of the ball to get down the pitch too much either. Because he bowls flat, it's... Uh, Another fine over, 113 for two. Side, but I think this is the right uh, right position to stand for the uh, leg spinner. They get too easily. So with that lucky boundary, they've got uh, nine runs. It's 122 for two. Against, arguably, the best batsman in the world against whom he's had a bit of success now Ashwin bowled really well to Sangakara in Sri Lanka he's got a habit of bowling well to the best batsman well played from De Villiers they just moved that field to Fana to try and cover both sides the late cut and the paddle onto the leg side and he was aware of that and placed that superbly oh good ball again Five came from it, it's 134 for two. Difficult calls. The speed is the dimension. Majority of the delivery is slow through the air. Open. Look for two. It's a quick outfield. It's still for two this time, De Villiers. Conceded the 1-6, that was to Duplessis. Running the first one hard, they look for two. More often than not, then... You would, you would end up restricting the bat, batsman from scoring freely. Or maybe a successful move. Back into the side. Staying in the aerial route and it stays good. The hit. It's gone a long way out of the park. Six to end the over. 164 for three. And yeah, that's a big hit. Yeah, there's plenty of space there behind the boundary rope and uh, it went a good 15 yards I think over the boundary rope when with the spin 10 runs from that over pressure on Ryan up pressure on Dhoni now can he use him again to make up the overs or he has to find somebody else Stuart Binney perhaps This is the momentum shift that South Africa will be looking at in this time of the inning. And this is the momentum shift that uh, South Africa were looking at, provided by A.B. De Villiers. We all know how dangerous he is. And he can be in the last 15 overs. So this is what he can do. Is that little swing that he gets Umesh Yadav with the older ball? Dive to his right to try and stop the ball. He's an expert. Oh, he had so much time, so much time. He, it's almost as if he just turned from the sports page to the entertainment page and hit a six in between. 
Then he went for the slow delivery, the, the off cutter, and dragged it down just a touch in length. And De Villiers was onto this in a the flash. There you can see the fingers were rolled across it. He knows there's no one back at mid-wicket. Just rocks back and middles it, and off she goes. And how easy he made it look. No trouble whatsoever. And that's why he is uh, one of the most feared batsmen in uh, international cricket today. 189 for three. Fielder out in the deep. Now he's going to take two for that, isn't he? You always get the feeling with uh, A.B. de Villiers that he's got a little more in store, that he can just accelerate when he wants to. There's a question on J.P. Dumini. Stumping score, that was about as easy as it gets. 200 comes up. Turn. It's not going to be easy. And that will be a half century for A.B. de Villiers. Yet another half century. Fumble there from the fielder at long off. Yeah, there's a little gift for A.B. de Villiers as he gets to a half century to a rousing reception from the crowd here in Kanpur. And the Indian fielders thought, look, I think he deserves one more. So a little fumble there took him to 51. It's been important innings from the captain. 54 deliveries, just the two sixes, no boundaries. Strike rate impressive as always with the Villiers. And now he'll be hoping to cut loose in these last seven or so overs. He got 100 from 31 balls, and he against uh, West Indies. Should that be allowed in our game? 100 from 31 balls against the West Indies last year. Brilliant stuff, and that'll be uh, a boundary. Yes, it is uh, a boundary. Straying on the pads, 209 for four. Inflict any pain to him regarding boundaries. The thing is, uh, the line that he's going to ball to AB de Villiers is important for India. Because Ashwin's going to be a key bowler, not just in the remainder of the one-day series, but in the test series as well. So, they've actually got to look after him. Current rate 248. Field in the deep will be just a single. The option to get in. It's been a little bit of reverse swing, a little bit of spin. So it Time in 35 matches. Here he goes, A.B. de Villiers. No timing at all, but he'll get four runs. Is this the change of gear we've been talking about? A great shot from uh, uh, JP Dumini to start the over over square leg. Maybe De Villiers opens that front leg. Wallops it through mid-wicket. He's played superbly well. Very controlled innings so far. So I heard Sanjay Mandrake talk about the extra gears that he's got. And he's already striking at 100. He's gone very high. And just enough distance to take it over the ropes. There's that gear that we were talking about. The overdrive. After the top gear. And he's cruising. The strike rate is getting better all the time. Umesh Yadav was the field at long on. He was interested for just a few moments. Hasn't hit it from the middle of the bat. It still has enough to get over the ropes. Two miss hits. Both shots were missed time and he still got it over the ropes. And where that last shot went, long gone. There's so much space behind it. Why can't the boundary road be further back? Now this is timing. This is a scorcher. And what a big over this is. 21 runs coming off it. Binny might have just bowled the last over of the innings. Change for the bowlers. This is one bounce pick up for the fielder. Once again, he's not quite getting the timing, but he's getting the runs. Well bowled, just the one run on the offside. There it is, taken on the fall, and that's runs. Four of them for A.B. de Villiers. 263 for five, two overs to go. It's a full toss, and he's gone for six. Straight over the side screen, or on the side screen. How he generates that power from that position, I don't know. It's not a bad delivery, low full toss in the block hole. Opens that front leg and generates the power. Incredible. I think this just highlights 
why Ashwin should have been used earlier. If you can get South Africa two or three wickets down and get A.B. de Villiers in under pressure, but he, he was allowed to, to, to give himself time to build an innings and Harry's taking advantage of that. He's gone in that same direction again, slightly wider, Suresh Rana won't get there. Happy with this. Great batting from A.B. de Villiers. 92 of 68 balls. Four overs ago, you would have said it was impossible for him to get to 100. The ability to change gears. Real confidence in his ability to hit the ball out the ground. Not a good delivery. Back of a length. Not the type of delivery you want to be bowling at this stage of the innings. This is what Dhoni was worried about. The big overs. We've got 21 runs off a Stuart Binney over. This is already 13 runs. Well stopped. He stopped four runs there because that was going so quickly down behind Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Is there a chance here for the fielder? No. It's going to be two runs. AB moves on to 94. This unfair to the bowler. That's runs on the offside. Has he get the ball in play? He's searching Kirane and he's searching for the ball. There it is. It's found it. Let's wait for the umpire's signal. This is another big over. We saw a 21 run over from Stuart Binney. The umpire just want to confirm what happened here. Has the ball gone on to touch the rope? <laughs> Seemed like it seemed to change direction at the last minute there. Signals four, so that's 19 runs of the over. When it's a mice, and I, I'm <laughs> presuming that's why the cheer is out there because A.B. de Villiers is on strike, batting on 98. You gotta love the appreciation for someone like A.B. de Villiers here in India. The crowd certainly do love him. Really appreciate his ability and the way he plays the game. They're excited to see him on 98, yeah. It's great for the game of cricket to see this. He's gone over the wicket. Umesh Yadav has missed it. So just the one ball left. South Africa 297. A.B. de Villiers 98. Again looking leg side. In much better off looking for the side screen again. Decent pace, the last delivery. From Umesh Yadav close to 143. Well, let's fasten our seatbelts. Because I know AB is not going to leave anything behind here. Could be another slow delivery from Umesh Yadav. He struck it. Is that going to go to hand? No, it goes over the field. That's a six. Gets his hundred. Gets South Africa past 300. 303 for five. And what a player this guy is. South Africa's superstar does it again. Incredible ability. Look at the crowd going mad. Really lit up the stadium today.